Hey, what's up? This is Todd Smith. I'm back with another video. In this video, I want to talk about the budget synth nirvana we currently live in. This channel has been focusing on budget gear, pushing synthesizers that don't take a lot to invest in, but still sound amazing. And it's crazy just how much in that five years the budget market has changed in the synth world. And if you step even farther back, back to when I entered this synthesizer game, no options like you see today. So I definitely want to sit back and reflect on the concept that we have so much amazing gear at a great price tag. Before we jump into this topic, I need to thank you for taking the time to check out this video and support this content without your views, Patreon support, Bandcamp sales. I would not have the motivation to do this pretty much every single day, push my dreams forward, and I really can't thank you enough for that motivation. Again, as you know, if you've been following this channel, that's the main core concept of this channel, not spending a lot and pushing great sound out of the pieces. In my whole entire setup, the most expensive piece I own is definitely the Korgop 6, the brand new piece I bought. And this is in terms of what I paid. I think technically the Blofeld with the keys might be my most expensive keyboard, but I got that for around 350, 375. I got my Micro Korg even cheaper, and my Insonic keyboards I got for literally $150, $200 each. So out of everything in my studio, whether it be bought brand new or used, $700 is the high end of my range. And the crazy amount of sounds that I get out of these machines that cost $200, $300, some of them brand new, it's absolutely revolutionary compared to what we had in the past. The doors are now wide open because it's just going to get cheaper. These budget synths are going to find their way onto the used market, get even cheaper for people who have even tighter budgets. It's only going to keep expanding. It's going to get more accessible to people. And obviously a lot of this is because technology itself is evolving and the hobby itself is expanding. You're getting more people into the space, more sales per year, and technology is getting smaller, lighter, cheaper, faster, better, which all makes this process of creation much different than it was in the past. And that's actually stepping into another concept that I think has really evolved is form factor. Things have gotten a lot smaller. Things can fit in your bedroom now. Back in the day, not only did things in general, anything sound good would cost you over $1,000. Many units were pretty large in form factor and you had to take more space in order to have a chance to even use them. Today, as things get cheaper, smaller, better, we have more bedroom studios, we can use tighter spaces, which means more people are able to explore this concept. To me, this is all amazing. I think that's great. I love that idea of it expanding out into places like that. If you still have the big room and you have the money, you can get that big gear and still make that massive studio you've always been able to make in the past. But not having that amount of wealth and not having that amount of space doesn't necessarily have to keep you away from hardware 100% anymore. And this is hardware that sounds amazing and can do great work. And the options are endless between digital and analog and hybrids. We live in an absolute overall synth nirvana in my opinion, and we should definitely all be pretty happy with what we have and the choices we have in the market. Even with the global shortage and the struggle to maybe get a few pieces you want because um, the whole world is kind of messed up right now. The positives still massively outweigh pretty much all the negatives of the past. It's definitely going to be interesting to see how the market evolves in the next, you know, 5, 10 years. So many people are starting to make electronic music. So many people are getting better access to gear who could make electronic music before and now can just afford a lot of really cool stuff. I think it'll be interesting to see what comes out of these little spaces, these bedrooms, these places that didn't have that access before. So do you guys agree? Do you think it's an amazing time in synths? I mean, definitely for budget people, but I mean, just overall. I would love to know your opinion. And as always, stay positive, stay creative, support each other in peace.